black lives matter. Not the only life that matters. Not our life is better than anybody else's, but simply black lives matter. Who knew that would be a debatable statement? You see, let me, let me do something here. So, let me do some crowd participation here. If you ever experienced racism, been racially, racially profiled by the color of your skin, been judged by the color of your skin, I want you to put your hands up nice and high. Nice and high. If anybody, real, be proud. All right? So everybody that's got their hands up, just look around at everybody else who has their hands up. Those who don't have their hands up, look around. Excellent. You can put your hands down. Because I'm here to tell you now that the last time that you've been racially profiled, the last time that you dealt with racism, is probably not the last time that you're going to deal with that. It's probably not going to be the last time. So then I had to check myself in the mirror. I had to look in the mirror and I had to say to myself, say, look, John, John, this is not going to be the last time that you walk in the store and you're going to be followed. This is not going to be the last time that you're riding and you get pulled over for being black. This is not going to be the last time they accuse you of stealing and you didn't do nothing. This is not going to be the last time that you're blamed for doing something at the workplace and you didn't do anything. But this is not going to be the last time. But my message here today is to tell you that, that cannot, I cannot let that stop me from being great. I have an obligation to myself to become the best version of myself. And I'm here to tell you there's a way to do that. There's a way to get more, learn more, obtain more. But you can only do that if you, commit, if you consistently commit yourself to consistency and not being content. Consistency and not content. So if you're here today, you know, because, you know, you got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Black Lives Matter is trending right now. So, you, you know, you're posting pictures and you're getting likes and, you know, for TikTok views and this is going to be convenient for you. And, but 20 minutes later, you're done with the whole movement. If you're here for that reason, then I encourage you not to be here for that reason because the consistent don't need content behavior. That's content behavior. Because if you're committed to consistency, consistency creates change. Content, we just taking up space. Content just taking up space. So let, let's, let's go back in history. Let's talk about it. So, so I had the pastor talk about Dr. Martin Luther King. Dr. Martin Luther King, right, he went to Selma, Alabama, because African Americans didn't have rights to vote. So he marched with his people for 54, he marched 54 miles in five days from Selma, Alabama to Montgomery, Alabama. Consistency. Harriet Tubman not only freed herself of slavery, but she went back and got more. She helped escort over 300 plus slaves over the course of 10 years. Consistency. Frederick Douglass, Frederick Douglass not even, not only did Frederick Douglass escape slavery, he became an activist, an author, and a public speaker. Dedicated his life for equality and human rights for African Americans. Consistency. Where is your consistency? Right? So, some of us can't even consistently commit to a New Year's resolution. Oh, they ain't like that, Mitch. They ain't like that, Mitch. We can't consistently commit to a diet or exercise, let alone a movement. Where is your consistency? Because, because of our black historians, they have fought and they became the best version of themselves. And because they came, became the best version of themselves, they they installed in their system consistency because consistency is contagious. Consistency is contagious. So th this, this is what I, just what I'm trying to get to you. So you know we're all here together. Look around. Look around. We got people of all races, shapes, and forms right here together. And we're here because simply because right is right, and wrong is wrong. Right is right, and wrong is wrong. And this is why we're here. But we're united, and we got to be like the body. So in the body, when you hit me in my knee, my leg is going to jump, right? So when you step on my foot, my mouth is going to say something because we got something in the body called the nervous system. We got to be like the body. So if something happens in Minneapolis, we feel it all the way here in Middletown. If something happened in L.A., we feel it all the way here in New York because we are all joined together in one, one body. Dr. Martin Luther King once said, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. Unfortunately, racism has not passed this world, and it most definitely has not skipped over this town. There is, there is racism right here in the workplace. 
There is racism right here in the police department. There is racism right here even in the school systems. But we cannot let that stop us from being great. Oh, there's racism in the church. Talk about it, Pastor. <laughs> racism in the church. But, but our beautiful black historians have risked their lives. They have did everything they do, become the best version of themselves, and install that consistency in themselves to make sure that we're here today. And they work too hard. Dr. Martin Luther King worked too hard for me to give up now. Frederick Douglass worked too hard for me to give up now. Harriet Tubman worked too hard for me to give up now. Phyllis Wheatley worked too hard for me to give up now. Rosa Parks worked too hard for me to give up now. Malcolm King, Malcolm X worked too hard for me to give up now. W.E.D. Du Bois worked too hard for me to give up now. So you got to stay on the course because they worked too hard. Who are we to give up? Who are we to give up now? And I'm saying you got to be, got to speak up. For those who didn't have their hands up, we, we encourage you to use your power, use your words. And I get it. I get it. I know there's some generations out there that we're not going to change. There's some generations out there that just, just don't believe in equality. There's some generations out there that don't see black and white. There's some generations out there that just don't see us as people. And I get that. I get that. But if you have a voice, you got to use that. You got to use that. Say something. If you see something wrong happening in the police department, say something. If you see something wrong happening in the workplace, say something. If you see something wrong happening in the schools, say something. Say something. Just say something. And that's the start. And I encourage you just to say something. Use your voice. Use your mouth. And that's how we start this. So I'm going to close in saying this. I, I, I wake up every day and I thank God because I woke up in a, I woke up in a racist, evil, unfair world being a black man every single day when I wake up. But I thank God because he gave me 24 hours not only to survive but to be the best version of myself. Every single day. And I'm here to tell you the only way that's possible is if you stay consistent and not content. Thank you.